the Food for Less on Euclid Avenue in southeastern San Diego has been the center of Market Creek Plaza for more than 10 years. It's the only grocery store in the neighborhood, but for a long time, residents like Gwen Howell didn't want to shop there. I have always shopped at Food for Less, and when they first started out, they were really great, but then over the years, they progressed, they just downgraded, and it became really unpleasant to come here. Um, the lines were extremely long, always. The produce was not good. The customer service was not good. So Howell and some of her neighbors decided to see if they could change things. Working with the community advocacy group Urban Collaborative Project, they wrote a letter to Kroger's, the company that runs Food for Less. They acknowledged um, um, that there could be some improvements. Um, we went down the list of some of the things that we were concerned with, and they got right on it. Um, there was no pushback, there was no pointing fingers, um, no stalling. Um, it just went um, extremely smooth. Six months later, and Howell says the store has completely changed. The produce is a whole lot better, the store is a whole lot cleaner, the customer service is astronomical, and the lines are no longer down the aisle. So I'm happy. I'm very happy. Without Food for Less, Howell's neighborhood would be a so-called food desert. Those low-income areas without access to grocery stores mean residents can't buy fresh produce and healthier foods. Just east of Market Creek Plaza is one of the few pockets in San Diego labeled a food desert by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Research has found that food deserts emerge because grocery chains don't want to put stores in poorer neighborhoods where they think profits will suffer. Kendra Doyle, a spokeswoman for Food for Less, says the Market Creek store brings in a profit just under the average for the 148 other Food for Less stores in the country. But she says her company is invested in it. You see across um, all of Food for Less throughout California that we have continued to invest um, within our stores to make them better, and, and this is another great example. And so we want to make sure that we are um, able to continue to bring what it is the community needs, and, and in the areas that maybe don't have another choice. Howell, Pollard, and other community members met with Doyle and Food for Less's district manager in April. They left that meeting with a promise that many things would change in the store. Produce would be fresh and well stocked, and floors and shopping carts would be clean. Employees also wouldn't hang out in front of the store and would provide better customer service. Doyle says the company is investing $1 million in the store to make these changes. For all of us, we know we can always do better, and when people take the time to offer feedback, we value that at Food for Less very, very much. Um, and for this community group to take the time and attention that they did, um, we want to be receptive to it, and we want to work together to make sure that we can make this store um, a great store for the neighborhood. Howell says she was surprised how fast the improvements came and that a big corporation like Kroger's was willing to listen. It makes me feel like I know that you need, I need you for my food, but I can go to Lemon Grove or I can go to Claremont, which was my favorite store, to, to get my groceries. So because you are now treating me with respect, I'm happy to come here and I will tell every, and I do, I tell everybody about the changes that have gone on at Food for Less. Since that meeting, Pollard says he's continuing to keep tabs on the store. I nose around and I ask you, you know, how are things going and they, they love it. I'm looking at the fruit and the meat section and it is, um, the, the, the organization of it is 100% is better. Um, the, the freshness of the fruit is 100% is better, um, and, and, and that's what we wanted. Pollard says his group's victory also means more than just what goes into shopping carts. We wanted, quite frankly, what other communities get, and we were able to get that in a very um, painless sort of way. Claire Tregesser, KPBS News.